almost sat on the cat behind me. And then I have a Snapchat from... Oh, ho, ho, I almost called you my boyfriend. You're not. Hey, hi, hello, my name's Alexis, and I'm in a new place again. I have settled in to the house I'm living in now with my aunt in New York. I'm sorry there was not a video last week. I had a very rough trip <laughs> and I was still recuperating, so I didn't make a video for last week and I'm sorry, but I am back. Here I am, making a video. What is this? So today we're going to do some first impressions on some stuff. My aunt ever so loverly, I almost said, ever so nicely, got me this Estee Lauder palette. This is the Expert Color palette. And if I can open it, I can show you what's in there. It has Magnoscopic, Maximum, Maxim, I can't talk today, Maximum Volume Mascara. It has four eyeshadows, uh, two lip, two lipsticks, which are dropping stuff, which are the ones down here, two lip shines, which I'm assuming are like lip glosses, and then two blush shades. So I'll be doing a look with the eyeshadows in there using one of the blushes and one of the lipsticks. I also got the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I got this in the shade Medium. I've heard nothing but good things about it and I wanted to try it so, so badly. I also got a brow pencil. This is the NYX Eyebrow Pencil. The shade I got is Light Brown. I can already tell that it's too light for my eyebrows and that's fine. I have my regular powder which is also from NYX to put on top of it. That's all I'm gonna try so let's get started. I'm gonna start with the CC cream because I start with foundation usually. <laughs> Did you see I couldn't find where to open the palette? Oh I'm already having problems. <laughs> so this is supposed to be full coverage so to get the fullest coverage I'm going to apply it with my pointed foundation brush from uh, Real Techniques. This comes in the core collection. So I'm just gonna do this. Looking a little orange. Uh, so let's hope that the more I blend it, the less orange it will look. It smells like medicine, but I can't, like, I know, I like, it totally rings a bell. I know exactly what I'm thinking about. I just can't think of the word for what this smells like, except medicine, but that's not the exact word that I'm looking for. It has really decent coverage. I wouldn't call it the fullest coverage ever, but it's definitely really good. It's really lightweight, it feels really nice on my skin, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing much of anything, which I think is the point of CC cream. It's not coming off on my hand as I'm touching my face. We're gonna move on to eyebrows. Uh, again, this is the NYX Eyebrow Pencil in light, in light brown. Uh, it has a brow brush, not necessarily a spoolie, but a brush on the other end, so I'm just gonna use the brush to comb my brows because that's what you do with brow brushes. This tip, I wonder if I can show this to you guys. Um, this tip, if you can see it, is like oblong, kinda. It's not a pencil, like, like a pencil point. It's a squished kinda rectangle, ovally shape. So I don't know if that'll make a difference, but we'll see. So I'm taking it long ways, like uh, vertically, to brush up. So I'm going to take the same pencil, obviously I'm not changing pencils, um, and just outline the bottom of my brow. So I'm going to take this and also outline this over here, the front part of my brow, and then the top of the brow, just like how I did with the bottom. And fill it in. Once I filled it in, I'm going to switch back over to the brush and brush it out. So you can definitely see the difference in the eyebrow that I obviously put the pencil in and the eyebrow that I did not put pencil in. And use my regular powder. This is the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder in Brunette. So I'm going to take the lighter color of the two, which is what I usually use, and put it through my brows. They're not horrible, but it's not good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the darker color, which I only use on occasions, and see if that'll help any either. Okay, so pencil, nice formula. I like the pencil. I like how soft it is. I like how smoothly it went on. 
Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the Estee Lauder palette, which is what I've been using as a mirror this whole time because this whole top part is a mirror, which is amazing. So this would be a perfect palette to travel with because it does have four neutral eyeshadows, two different blushes, two lip colors, and two lip glosses. So this is a very, I'm gonna throw this in my bag and travel with it kind of palette. Oh, plus it has a mascara. Duh, how can I forget about that? What am I trying to create here? Oh, this color is gorgeous. I just want to take this color and I just want to put it everywhere. Do you guys see that? Do you see how gorgeous that is? Excuse my nails, by the way. I'm going to put that in the outer V. So let's start with the lid like I usually would. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. What is this? E.l.f. E.l.f. Oh, pr <laughs> eyeshadow brush. It was right in front of me. And I'm going to take uh, this color here, which is, uh, uh, I don't want to say silver because it's not. Um, I have no idea how to describe this color. I'm going to shove that all over my lid. Well, not shove it. I'm going to put it there nicely, but it's not showing up like at all. Or maybe it's just such a pale color that it doesn't look like it's going on, but maybe it really is. Oh, I see. So this is a really pale color. It would probably do better with a white base underneath it, like um, a jumbo eye pencil from NYX or any white base at all whatsoever, but on its own, not much happening here. So I'm going to take the, the gorgeous, gorgeous color that I just want to shove everywhere, and I'm going to put this on my e.l.f. Uh, blending eye brush and I'm gonna put this through my crease. This color blends really well. I kind of like that just how it is. So what I'm gonna do instead of putting that on the outer corner, I'm gonna take the darkest color um, again on my eyeshadow brush and put it on the outer, uh, let's say third of the eye. And then I'm gonna take my blending brush again and blend it out. I'm going to take a little bit of that darkest color that I just used and put it under um lower lash line is the line I was is the word I was looking for. I'm going to go back to the first color I just used and just touch up this inside the inner two thirds the da, 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 da. you know what I'm talking about. So next, I'm going to take the lightest color, which is like a, looks like a matte white. I almost said matte pearly white, but that wouldn't have made sense because then it wouldn't have been matte. Where's the brush I'm looking for? So I'm going to take that on a, this is another e.l.f. brush. This is the defining eye brush, and I'm just going to put that under my brow. And in the inner corner to highlight. I like the eyeshadows, they blend really well. Uh, they could be a bit more pigmented, uh, but I think using a white base underneath them would help with that, no big deal. So next I'm going to use the Magnoscopic Maximum Volume Mascara that came in this palette. Uh, if you guys have been here before, then you know that my, lash my, my lashes, my eyelashes like to go with mascara, so they clump really easily. It's a, it's a hassle, and I found two mascaras, drugstore and high-end, that don't do that to my lashes, and I really like them, so we'll see. Wow, this wand is huge. We'll see how this one goes. Do you see how long this wand is? Why does it need to be like that? I don't think it does. <laughs> so it's very black, um, but my eyelashes are clumping. It's a very wet mascara. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I've never had a mascara that's very wet like this one is before, but um, it's nice. It's interesting. I just don't know about how kind of clumpy my lashes are looking. I mean, they're not horrible, but I would have to put a lash comb through them. So let's move on to blush. I think I'm going to go for this one, which is Radiant Peach. Uh, it's a shimmer. It's has more shimmer in it than the other blush does. I just think it looks real pretty. So I'm gonna take another e.l.f. brush. There's a theme going on here. This is the bronzing brush that is not being used for bronzing. So I'm gonna take that. 
and I'm gonna slap it on my face. I keep saying slapping, but like, that sounds so mean. I'm gonna slap it right on. Oh, it does look really pretty. With the mirror up close, I can't see. From the mirror far away, it does look really nice. So cute. I like that blush. So next I'm gonna try one of the lip colors. Um, I'm not gonna use the gloss, because if y'all have been here since pre-hiatus, you know how I feel about gloss. Um, which one do I want to use? Barely Nude is like a really brownie color, so I'm not gonna use that one. I'm gonna go for this one instead, which I already forgot the name of. Blushing. Sounds dainty. I don't have a lip brush, so I'm gonna use the little lip brush that came in the kit. Well, the brush I use as a lip brush is kind of stained from, um from my Viva Glam, so let's, let's not, let's not do that. Oh, this brush is really stiff. That brush is atrocious, uh, so I'm gonna use the brush that I usually use as a lip brush anyways, which is the Real Techniques, what is this, uh, detailer brush. I love this, oh, it's so pretty. Can you see the color of it? I hope you can because it's so cute. It's so pretty, it's such a pretty color. What is this phrase that I'm making? That's it. That's all that I've tried. Uh, that's all the things I have to try. I am impressed. I do, what was this? I do like the products that I have tried. Um, again, color-wise, this is user error. It's not the product's fault. If I got the correct color of pencil and the correct color CC cream, which I actually don't think this looks that bad anyways, now that I have everything else on, uh, it's fine. The eyeshadows could use a base underneath it, no big deal. The blush, really pretty. Um, the lipstick, very nice. The mascara, I could run a comb through my lashes and it's fine. All in all, I, I'm really impressed and I do really like this. This is definitely something I'll be using a lot more often. This is definitely something I would take traveling with me. Uh, this is definitely something I would use with the correct the right color. I may just use this anyways. Who cares? I don't. This pencil, also really nice. Mascara. I do really like this actually. It's very wet, which I'm still not too sure about, but that's just something I have to be careful with applying it, but all in all, very happy. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All the links to all of my social media will be down in the description. Description? What is wrong with me? So check me up there. Um, I know that the lighting and the uh, framing of the video and me being like this the whole time uh, is not ideal. However, I am working with what I have and I will figure it out, I promise. Just give me some time. Um, I already said all of my outro and I should have said the outro and then said all that, but oh well, I already did. Um, Thank you guys so, so much, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!